What is up? What is up? What is up? FS Club Thursday. We got new mods. They're late, but they're here. Let's take a look at these. And one of these, you're going to be like, wow. Well, you guys can tell by the title and probably the thumbnail what it is. Okay, make sure you click that show all mod button. Uh, tractors. We have the Case I IH Optum by Nevtor and Chrissy136. Uh, let's see, price is 231,000, max, max horsepower is 273, 288, 313, max speed is 55, uh, specializations, cabin, roof window, mouse control, so that doesn't matter, uh, engine configurations, the 250, 270, and 300, um, new mirrors, okay, we'll take a look at it. And then big one, guys, from Custom Modding. I believe this is one of their first ones. Uh, this is actually the first John Deere tractor mod on consoles. Uh, this is, of course, the John Deere 8R US series. So this is the American series. So the speedometer in there should be miles per hour, not kilometers per hour. Uh, adjustable ILS with mouse control, animated doors, North American Tiger configuration, mudguard configurations, uh, front weight uh, configuration, engine configurations 245 to 400, rear hitch with three point fast coupling, base price is 299,000. More powerful than ever before, John Deere Series 8R tractors, an excellent power to weight ratio along with plenty of engine power, up to 450 horsepower with IPM, allows for high speed and speeds on efficient use of machines. Numerous toys and PTO options are available. Extremely versatile use of 8R series tractors. Okay, so of course download that one. Okay, on the forestry equipment, we have the Ponzi Buffalo with Clamping Stake by HJ. Uh, let's see, integrated rotating of clamping stake, front sliding plate, additional engine power level, uh, choice of color for rims and vehicle, more wheels to choose from, two gripping sizes, working lights from Hella, and the initial release. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, do we have anything else? Under manure spreaders, we have the Joskin Tornado 3 by ETA La Moschis. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Uh, price is 49,000. Working width is 15, choice of tires, optional beacon, control the ladder with the mouse, which of course we don't have mouse. Uh, realistic rotors and animations. Okay, then we have slurry tanks. We have the Venice Premium Integral 20,000 by STV Modding. Uh, price is 76,200. Working speed is 17 kilometers per hour. Working width is 15. Looks pretty nice. Okay, go down a little bit more. Packages. We don't have nothing. Uh, objects. We have the cow shed by plugs. Uh, cow shed with big willow. Price is 100,000. Capacity is 50 cows. So we have a new cow shed, guys. Okay, let's uh, go down a little bit more. We already checked out these farm buildings. We have two. We have the Riding Facility by Mochia. Yeah, I'm not going to say that name. Uh, the Questioning Center offers professional work for horse and rider. The large hall with Olympic masses of 20 by 60 meters is bright and flooded with light. The long window fronts. For a pleasant riding in the open air, there's a dressage area and a jumping course, a lunging hall rounding off the entire training concept. The barn has room for food and litter. The stable with adjoining paddock can accommodate up to 12 horses. Ooh, okay, so this is, wow, this place is gonna be nice. Oops, I forgot one more. We have also the Manor House by Priya, Prairie, I think that's how you say it. Large and beautiful farmhouse as you often find in area Munsterland. Munsterland, I think that's how you say it. Okay, so that is installed. Do we have anything else? Gameplay, nothing. Other, nothing. Okay, over here. Oops, over here, let's see. We have an update to this. Animal pen extension ready and the train cannot be changed here. Problem is fixed now on that one. Okay, let's go into a map and check out these new mods, especially at John Deere. Okay, here we are on Felsbrunn. So let's take a look at these new mods. First one we have, let's go over to manure spreaders. Okay, let me try to find this one. Not the Bergman. Oh, where are you, Joskin? There it is right there, the Tornado 3. Uh, price is 49,000, it is six slots. Holds 19,000 liters. 130 horsepower is required and 15 meter working width. 
We have Trailborg or Michelin. I really like the Trailborg with the wide tires. We have Standard and Beacon Light. Where's the Beacon Light? Oh, Beacon Light goes right back at the edge. So let's get that real quick. Okay, so this is a Tornado 3. I love how they did that right there. How it's cut into it. Tornado 3. This is a nice mod. Wow. Okay, so that is the Tornado 3 jaw skin. Okay, now if we go over to vehicles, I believe this next one should be under Forest Dreamer's machinery. Um, there it is right there, the Buffalo Clamping Stake. It is 286 horsepower. It is 14 slots, so not too bad. And let's see. You can change the rim color on it, and you can change the main color on it. So we can have our, where is it at? John Deere green right there. Ooh, and then put this thing as black. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Okay, you got Trailborg, or of course the other ones. Uh, let's do let's do Trailborg for once. We got Twin Radial, Twin Radial Wide, Twin Forestry, and Slims Wide. I really like those wide ones right there. Okay, we got Design Without the Shield and with the Shield. Then Design Little Claw or Big Claw. And then we have engine setup, Buffalo, HJM Power. Let's go with the HJM Power. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this thing is. Wow, this is nice. Okay, let's jump in it. Let's get inside. Nice. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, there it's on. Let's see, we got, what's, hold on. Let me get to the regular camera, steak pull up. Pull in. Oh, so those move in. That's that's a nice nice little feature right there. Okay, then of course you got your crane controls. Up down, fashion tension belts, and then of course claw turning and all that. Uh, also got changing driving directions. I like how the windows look tinted. Okay, cranes and the extras we have uh, let's see rotate crane right oh that okay that's for that the shield so you put the shield on the ground and okay I think that is it well actually hold on oh look at the back right there you see that hold on this is when you got the extras feature selected look at that that is cool does it actually, it doesn't do it. Oh, it even lower. Look at that. That is nice. Nice little mod right there. Very, very nice. Okay, the next thing we have, let's go over, I believe it's under slurry tanks. Okay, all the way over here. There it is, a Primo, premium integral two. It's 165,000, it is 30,000 liters. Uh, 30, 30 meter working with 15 slots requires 240 horsepower. You can have Trailborg or Nokian. Uh, let's just go with Trailborg. I always like the wider towers. Okay, and then there is that. Wow, that thing is huge. But it is really nice, nice job. They did a really nice job on this mod. Wow. Man, these these are some nice mods today. Okay, next one we have, let's see, go over here. Under medium tractors, uh, let's look for it. Uh, where are you, Case IH? Case IH, is it in this one or the other one? Okay, I think it might be under small tractors, maybe. Um, gear shift ones, Case. No, large tractors maybe? Let's see. Big Bud, Case IH, huh. Okay, I found it, it's right here. The Case IH CVX 250 300. It is 288 horsepower, it is 40 slots, guys. 40 slots, jeez. Okay, you change the color of it to red, black, red, black, red just different color reds okay configuration we have the fzw uh mit fzw okay i do not know what the difference is really oh okay the pto in the front 
Okay, you have Trailborg or Michelin or Midas. Let's do Trailborg. We have wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, twin wheels, rear twin wheels, and standard. Okay, set up. We have 250 CVX, 270 CVX, which adds an extra 288 horsepower, and then 300 CVX, which adds uh, 313. So we can go all the way up to 313. Okay, so let's lease that real quick and take a look at this thing. Okay, here is the inside. Let's turn her on. Nice. Okay, it doesn't look like there's no option. Oh wait, what's lift crane axle? Okay, it's not doing nothing. <laughs> hmm. Don't know why it's saying the lift, lift the crane axle right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it opens up that window right there. You have to hold LB, RB, and then use the left stick, right or left. Okay, lights. Ooh, I like, if you guys can see right there, you can actually see the engine and all that. That is pretty cool. Beacons. Okay, so that is, ooh, geez. Come on, get out of that. Okay. Okay, next mod we have is, uh, let's see, go over here, large tractors, and it should be all the way over here. Uh, there's the 8R series right there, but we are looking for something completely different. Uh, where are you? And there it is, the 8R series, $299,000. It is 49 slots, 290 horsepower. Uh, you can have front weight standard, a 300 kilogram, 500 kilogram, 700, 1,100. Let's do the 1,100. Mudguards basic, or front fenders, or all fenders, back fenders. Let's do uh, all fenders. We have the A245, which is 290. The A270, which is 318. The A295, which is 342. The A320, which is 368. The A345, which is 394, the 8370, 418, the 8400R, which is 450, and that is the highest it will go. Setups, we have 30s, we have ones with wheel weights, wow. Back duels, uh, <laughs> wow. All I gotta say is, wow, there is a lot of options. Jeez, look at that. That is nice. Okay, let's see. Wait, wait, jeez, I like, I don't know which one I wouldn't, I would go for it. I mean, these are all nice tires right here. I do like these wide ones though right here. I'm probably gonna keep it with these. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. And there it is. Wow, nice, 8400R. Did a nice job on this thing. I know if I'm on the wrong tractor. I wanted to go on the John Deere, not the case. Come on, get up. Okay, here we are. So here is the inside right here. Uh, let's see if there's any bells and whistles in here. Uh, LB. Oh, what did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Are you serious? This thing has hydraulics? <laughs> That's a nice little feature right there. Okay, let's see. That opens the door, as you can see right there. So the door does open. Okay, let's turn her on. Nice, nice. Lights, beacons. That's a nice tractor right here. Love those wheels on it. Okay, well that's gonna make a lot of people happy. But right now we're gonna go over and take a look at these new placeables. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Okay, let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. And let's get into these new placeables. Okay, under farmhouses, uh, which one is it? 
Okay, it is the, let's see, Manor House right there. 470,000, it is 52 slots. Jeez, wow, that's a lot of slots. Oh, I see why though, look how big this thing is. Look how nice this house is too. Okay, can you sleep? That is the question. Let's see if we go up here, can we sleep over here? Nope, no sleeping thing right there. What about right, yep, you can sleep on here. Okay, so this is the manor house. Nice little mod right there. Well, not little, it's a pretty big mod. Okay, next we have, let's go over to animal pens. And we're looking for the cow shed. Pasture, horse, cow pasture, riding facility. There is the, that. Let's actually take a look at the riding facility. It is uh, 195,000. It can hold 10 horses, uh, 21 slots. Let's see how big this thing is. <laughs> oh wow, you got to like clear out a lot of land for this. Come on, oh come on, let me. <laughs> you can't, the terrain, it's too much. Oh, I just had it there for a second. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I do not have enough money. How much money is it? 630 G's. Okay, let's see if I can take a big enough loan for this. Okay, come on, save it. Okay. Man, this thing is big. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, borrow. I guess might hear me clicking a lot because I'm trying to borrow some money. Hopefully I have enough money for the other one too. I guess I could have sold the manor house, but oh well. Okay, let's go back to over here. Let's go to the writing. Where are you at? There it is, writing facility, 195,000. It's because of the uh, transformation. Now it says I don't own this land. Oh, come on. I just had it just a little bit ago. I just said I didn't have enough money. It's gonna do this to me now. Okay, we might not be able to show this one off, really. I mean, this thing is pretty big. Uh, let's let's check something out real quick. Let's uh, go over here and buy this land. See if that helps. Hopefully, I have, still have enough money. I mean, we could sell this thing real quick. Okay. Now let's check this out again. This time hopefully we can get it. Okay, riding facility. Can't be placed, why can't it be, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go, okay. Made a big old hill, but I do not care. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this. We still have $253,000, so we should have enough to uh, show off the last mod. Wow, this hill is steep. Okay, so here is the riding facility. So you'd be able to have basically like an all-in-one area right here. Have like a little bit, does this thing, yeah, this thing even opens too. Really nice, nice big mod. You're gonna need a lot of room for this. Okay, gates open. Another little riding facility. Wow, this is nice. Um, animal dialogue, there we go. Okay, we got horses in here now. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so, come on. Open the doors, there we go. So that is the riding facility. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the last mod we have. Okay, the last mod we have is right here, the cow pasture, which is 100,000. It can hold 50 cows. It is 14 slots, $100 a day. Uh, let's see if we have room for this thing, though. No. Mods just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Come on. Oh. Am I gonna have to sell that thing just to get it up here? I would, how about right there? You gotta be kidding me, come on.
Okay, looks like we're gonna have to sell the riding facility and see if... Was I able to sell it? You could not sell a vehicle tool because it is in you. Oh, because I have... Okay. Yeah, because I have uh, animals right there. Ah, uh, that means we have to go all the way back up here. Uh, let's go right here. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. And let's get rid of that. Now it's been sold. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's go to animal pens. Let's go to the cow pasture. There it is right there. If there is even enough room up here. Oh, it looked like it was right there. Why can't... Okay, that doesn't make sense. As you can see, it completely fits. Ah, there we go. Ah, got it. Okay, so this is the cow pasture. Remember, guys, you're going to need a lot of room for this. Well, for a lot for both of these. Okay, does this thing have a... There's the animal dialogue. You buy your cows. There's the gates. Uh, feeding areas and stuff. Oh, I like this little bee mesh right there. There is for your manure, right over there. So yes, uh, these are the mods for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I already know which one everybody's gonna say that's their favorite. Uh, yes, this video took me a little bit longer than the other ones because we had two huge, huge mods. Uh, remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you have not said, make sure you guys do. And like always, have a nice day, farmers. Peace.